Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. For this week's episode, I'm in the far, far north, and I'll be checking out Cape Prianga and Spirits Bay with my good friend Nova. This episode's going to be a little bit different from my usual. I'm going to be doing a little bit of sandboarding, a little bit of hiking, and of course, a bit of fishing. I hope you guys enjoy. All the way up. This looks like trouble. Midwinter surfing vibes. Success, I reckon, eh? Bit of oh, fun. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> Epic. If you haven't done it, you got to do it. It's pretty good. Get fucking seeing it. With the sandboarding part of the mission successfully completed, we jumped back in the car and cruised down to Spirits Bay. We set up a bit of a campsite and there was still just enough time left in the day to head down to the beach and check the place out. It's crazy. The original plan was to head out onto this rocky outcrop and cast a few soft baits around and see what we could catch for dinner. Unfortunately, Tangaroa had different ideas. The sea was rough and angry and it just wouldn't have been safe. So we decided just to enjoy the views and check it out. I guess what I would say is a little bit different about this week's video is the fishing conditions were very challenging and we didn't manage to catch a hell of a lot of fish. But this place is absolutely stunning and I still filmed lots of great shots and decided to put it together as a bit more of a travel vlog. But don't be deterred, we do still catch some great fish, have some great feeds and of course as always we have a fantastic time. It's going to be a mean one. So, knuck the fishes for dinner on the first night, but that's okay because we brought plenty of sausages. We needed an early night anyway because the very next day we were up at the crack of dawn and driving towards the top of our hiking track. Today we're going to be hiking down into Pandora Bay. Yeah, that bit, that bit up there looks like fun. 
Yeah, it's good. There's a good fence to hold on to. <laughs> we'll be sweet. Now that it's opened up nice and big. Just down there, you reckon? What have I signed up for? <laughs> oh no. They got bad over there. <laughs> no more. Oh, yeah. It's a bit boggy coming through that bit, mate. Wow, this is pretty mean. Maybe we just hang out here for a little bit. So down in a little bay called Pandora's Bay. And uh, this just looks like a pretty cool spot to stop off and have a bit of a cast. So I'm going to flick a line out and see if we can get there. Oh, look at that. He got attacked on the way in. He got smacked up. Whatever hit him's got teeth though. So it's not a kingy. It's got a fish on the second or third cast. I'll just put him there for you. Fish. Nice size kahawai coming by way of the soft bait there. Perfect size either that one there, so I'm going to bleed them and pop them in a rock pool. Beautiful. <laughs> what a spot. Man, that's really cool though. Look at this. Passageway to the ocean. Woohoo! It is actually a passageway to a little beach. The plan for the remainder of the day was to hike our way slowly back from Pandora to the Spirits Bay campground, stopping to fish at any likely looking spots. I was hoping to secure a few kahawai for bait for the next few days and hopefully a few bigger specimens that we could eat for dinner. I stopped and had a cast at this little spot because I like the look of those washy rocks out the front there. They're covered in kelp and the rest of this coast is pretty exposed so that little kelpy patch makes a pretty likely place for bait fish to hide out and therefore there's a pretty good chance that there'll be some kahawai patrolling along the coast hoping to ambush an easy feed. Find the bait, find the fish. Nova had been off exploring the coast and looking for treasures. By the time she returned, she was a little bit surprised to see how many of these bait-sized kahawai I'd managed to catch. But I was still hard at it. I was determined to catch one big one for dinner. Recording, I hope that's recording. Yes, there we go. There's a good size one for dinner, right? A little catch IRT owning that fish, too. Easy, right? I'm gonna bleed and dispatch that fella, and he's gonna be turned into a bit of dinner.
Beautiful. Crazy place. After a massive day's walking, some absolutely stunning views and a very satisfying spot of fishing, this day was finally starting to come to an end. We'd made it to just outside the Spirits Bay campground, so we pulled up a seat to have a rest and watch the last of this day disappear. The next morning was a bit grey and gloomy, but I wasn't going to let that deter me and I definitely wasn't going to let it stop me from getting a line wet. As well as that, Nova had said if I could catch another fresh kahawai, she would make us delicious poke bowls for lunch. I really wanted those poke bowls, so I casted and casted and casted, and eventually my persistence paid off. Wabam! I was hooked up. The fish I was after was sashimi. I bleed, gut and gill this fish straight away. Then I take them straight down to the beach and give them a good wash before I bang them on the ice. I want to keep this meat in absolutely perfect condition for these poke bowls. Fresh. Fresh. Beautiful. Toasted sesame seeds. Yep. Yep. Nice healthy seaweed stuff. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> and that's everything. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. Then destroy it. <laughs> Munchies on. Well, bam. Gotta get a bit of everything on today. Mm. Starts off pretty and then you've got lots of <laughs> mm. pile of push up to it. That's insane. Just fresh and delicious, everything, eh? Mm. Mm. That's a favourite. Oh, it's so good. Nice. Motley Crew has assembled. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and do it, see if we can find a spot on this bloody rock. That afternoon, myself, Nate and Nova assemble, we've decided we're going to head back out on the rock and have one last crack at catching one of these elusive Spirits Bay snapper. Nova's hooked up, I'm just running to the surfer. Uh, do you want me to land it for you? Going to switch? Okay. Because I have to climb down. <laughs> Yeah, well done. To cut a long story short, we have another epic session out on the rocks. We managed to catch some absolutely stonking kahawai, but 
Out of everybody fishing on the rock that day, not a single snapper was caught. We wrapped up that little fishing session and headed back to the campsite. It was time to pack up and time for me to load up the RAV and head off in search of the next fishing adventure. Oh, it says one of my doors isn't closed properly. It's always this one. I hope you all enjoyed this week's travel vlog style video and be sure to join me back here next week where I'll be deep dropping from Striker down in Tauranga targeting massive blue nose. Smash this little subscribe flounder right here if you'd like to see more of my weekly content.